What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Two Wild checking in once again back with the banger today, guys, on a very special video that I had to get out a sap Rocky. Like I'm excited, I couldn't help it. I want to suit this thing up, so I needed to get this out to y'all as soon as possible. So forgive me for the one-stop shop, not that many edits and all the above, because it's really an unboxing and first impressions. I want to do a further update on this one very, very soon and get that one out to y'all as well. But this is a brand new item, brand new on the market from Paul Metal State Armory, all right? Paul Metal State Armory. Uh, picked up a couple different pieces from them, just from their website, some of their actual lowers and, and the AK from them as well. They have a lot of good stuff. A lot of people don't, a lot of people say bad things, a lot of people say good things. I've only had great experiences when it comes to them, made in America and at a reasonable price. And of course though, this is the brand new 5.56 pistol and the PSA Jackal. Now this is the PSA Jackal, but the thing about this PSA Jackal, this is a PSA Jackal and FDE Flat Dark Earth. They recently dropped these variations just like like last week and I jumped on it. This is an FDE. This is a 10.5 inch um, pistol, 5.56, 223. And it's in the Flat Dark Earth. They dropped it in Smoke Gray, I believe, Flat Dark Earth, as well as OD Green. And I picked this one up because I just love the color. Right off the rip, I'm gonna say it off the rip. I love this gun, but I I absolutely hate the brace that they chose to put on it. So when you see this next video, this brace is going to be removed immediately. I already have the brace that I want. I'm going to be using that one very, very soon. And I also added things on it that I, it doesn't come like it, it comes just like this without the Picatinny, Picatinny, and the um, the uh, handguard, which I don't, I'm, I'm not too much. I thought I was going to like it, but it's kind of, it's a little bit too much of a wide grip for me. Oh yeah. Clear check, you know, clear check. Fully assembled, comes with a mag, by the way. The bolt back, you feel me? Bolt back, check it out. And the uh, the, the, the charging ham handle is ambidextrous, so you can switch it, you feel me? And mag it, and then, you know, you just check out the, I know the trigger pull might not matter, but yeah. You see that Jackal emblem? I might black that out. The Jackal is pretty much a AK AR hybrid, and it is bufferless, so you, as you can see, there is no buffer, it's just a, uh, the, the foldable triangle stock, which I, or my bad brace, which I will be taking off and adding this to another gun. Cause I've been wanting this. I've been wanting this actually for an AK and it's really not as flimsy as I thought, but I'm gonna add this to something entirely different that I will showcase uh, soon. I, Got an idea for this one already, and I already have, like I said, another bracing system that I'll be adding to it. Great look, great feel. My main thing that I that's that heads up at least, or at least for mine, mine came extremely oiled. I felt like I was on the beach putting sunscreen on. It was, I mean, it's so much oil still on there. Look at the amount of oil. You see that? It's even oil up here. Like it's oil splattered galore. There's so much oil on this gun. I've actually wiped it. I actually got a, a towel and wiped off as much as I can. Like here, this is a show you, this is all oil. It was extremely like, I've never had a gun that oily. I don't know if they just dumped it in a damn jar or what, but I had to completely wipe it because it was just so much everywhere. I mean, it's even on the barrel inside, so I don't know what happened with this. I'm gonna check it. I mean, as far as it's shot, it shot perfectly fine, but when I was shooting it, it was, I, I some oil was coming off, like like off the gun. Um, it stank, it stank. It, it smelled horrible, but it was smoothing. It was a smooth shot. Um, I have a 10 inch barrel in the AK-47, like AKP, so I was used to that concussion and that sound. However, it did sound like, it had a nasty sound to it because it's a shorter barrel than normal. But 10.5 is like the lowest you really want to go. Some people say 11.5 or 11. Um, but I've read multiple places that, you know, 10.5, 5.56 is not bad. Anything lower, you want to go with that 300 blackout round. But overall, man, I really have no complaints. But this is an initial shot. I only shot like 60. I'm going to go tomorrow with a more souped up version of what you see now. And I'm really going to put some, some rounds through it. And I'm going to follow you guys up with that review. Definitely want to add a light to this. I don't know. I might take this off. I don't think it feels a lot thick, but the main reasoning for this is I'm going to make this look like a baby scar. Like that's my thing. It does come with the uh, MOE Magpul, which the originals, like the recent version, like the first ones did not come with this. They came like a re re regular OME or whatever, but this comes with Magpul. Um, you got the Jackal labeling. My bad. Let me give you guys a close up of the gun. You got that, that rail system, which I love and like a lot. 
and it's all monolithic. Everything's all together. Um, it is though, you can buy a lower of an AR-15 and then buy the parts kit to, tra to basically transfer your AR-15 to this gun. So like the upper, they sell the uppers by themselves. You could buy an AR-15 lower and this upper and make this gun. You just have to put the bufferless system that they have. There's something that you, a kit you have to buy that will basically make it to where you can have this without the, the stock. So it's uppers are being sold, the lower uh, kits are being sold. So, you know, this is my first thoughts and opinions. I want to do more in depth and give you guys that when I have a chance. I just really wanted to showcase this and uh, put that out there. So forgive me if it's not in depth as my usual because I haven't really gotten in depth with it. You also have this adjustable gas block on the front, which I ain't going to lie to you. I need to figure out which number I'm on. There's like three settings or four settings. One that allows you to run suppressed, less gas, gassy. I need to read the actual book because I think the book tells you about it. And it comes with an extra knob because there was an issue going on with that where it was popping off. But yeah, you have the lower of an AR-15. You got that upper somewhat kind of like of an 8K, you know, with that charging handle and all that. And uh, you got, you know, also got AR-15 type of capabilities as far as the you know the buttons and the mag release and all that so real nice gun solid i really like i said i'm gonna take it out to the range tomorrow give you guys a more in-depth thoughts and opinions and i'm gonna follow up with y'all but this is the first the first for the jackal and this is in the flat dark earth salutes to paul metal state i'm out peace